as I told Kendall in my last conversation, there are two things that really bugged me about everything that took place with the investigation. And, and we're not going to go into all that, but the two things was one, I felt that coach Collins, Jimmy Collins would have been the next head coach after Lou Henson. So her position bugged me and it, it, and it still bugs me to this day. The other was me coming in, not being able to play my freshman year with you guys, because I personally feel we're right back in the final four, at least. And I agree. A national championship. I agree. I totally agree. You, you were the, Dion, you were the missing piece. Like Kendall and I talked about that after the final four and we knew you were coming. And so, you know, it's me, you, Kendall, Irvin Small, P.J. Bowman, Andy Kaufman, uh, uh, Tim Gears, Brooks Taylor. Andy Petty. I, Andy Petty. We had a uh, – Rod, was Rodney Jones on that team? Rodney Jones, yep. We had a crew. We had a whip, right? Oh, yeah. But you were the missing piece. And so – had you been there, we talked. We we talked about it after the Final Four. Kendall and I, me and PJ Bowman, uh, Doctor Philip Bowman, we've talked about it for years. Ryan Baker, CBS Two Sports. Uh, I'm sorry, news uh, anchor, morning news anchor for CBS, yep. who was a basketball manager at Illinois with us, was my college roommate. We talk about it all the time. You were the missing piece to the second Final Four run. And the fact that the NCAA did what they did and which the manner they did, I'm going to say it for you. It was garbage. It was, it was malicious. Yeah. They didn't find a thing, but they damaged everybody. Everybody was tainted from that situation. Even Bruce Pearl was mm -hmm. tainted from that situation. So the fact that it was mishandled by the NCAA and that it was a bombshell and affected the program for a long time,